What up? It's TF here. I'm making a video of the day on uh, how to make a reg tester. This was one that could have been purchased years ago from Air America, and uh, Air America doesn't even exist. They're coming back, a couple of the guys are coming back, but they don't even exist anymore for you to buy this. And so unless you get lucky and find this Guardian, it's not gonna happen. You're gonna have to build your own. And building your own can come in a myriad of instantiations. So um, I'm just gonna show you the way I do it, and you can do your own thing, just make sure it works when you get it done, all right? Um, one of the things that I think is, is crucial is having just a simple on off that you know goes to a remote. These can be had very cheaply at any of the paintball gear supplies or your local you know shop. Uh, here in Houston we use I use Pro Edge paintball. Go there and talk to John, get any of my little fitments or anything that I need that I know is, is paintball oriented. Um, grab one of those and put a chunk of macro line in it just like you see me having here. Okay, Set that aside for now and go into the, sort of the heart of the regulator adapter. Um, all I've got here is an on off. It's a pin. I wouldn't mind having one that uh, another one of these. Um, I just need to go get one. But this works too. It's just a pin style on off um, that I can attach my marker, my stuff to. What you're going to need from the paintball industry is a slide check or a downstream bleed, whatever that is called. It's got two O-rings on the inside, and those are tank O-rings. So if ever, those ever start leaking, take the sir clip off here, put two tank O-rings on it, lube it back up, and you're good to go. Okay? So that's that centerpiece. The rest of the stuff can be had at Home Depot. And what you need is, well, you need one more thing from a paintball. Uh, in, for me, I want a quick disconnect. And I think I've got one off gun over here. Yeah, I do. Um, off gun, it looks just like, or off this device, it looks just like this. Okay. So get one of those while you're ordering the slide check or maybe even the bottom line, and uh, you'll be good to go when that's come in. All you need then is the fitments to attach all this together. This is a male to male, I believe that's 3 8 inch national pipe thread. And this is a female to female because that has a male end and that has a male end. Those two pieces of brass can be had at any Home Depot. Just walk through, you know, grab it out of the bag, bring your fitments with you. I would, all I think I would bring is the this part of the dis, this part of the disconnect to make sure everything's, you know, either matches that or screws into that, and you're going to be good to go. Okay. Then assembling, you just do the 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 whatever you have here, and and a buddy of mine uses an on-off that looks like that. You know, it's just an old CP rail on-off. You know. Anyway. Um, Attach the male to male of that. Attach the female end of the uh, of the uh, slide check to this. Female to female, and then the male end there. Loctite all that up with uh, blue Loctite, and you're going to seal up right away and have no trouble. Now, how is that used? It's used in a couple of different applications, a couple of different styles. One, you can just use it right on your tank. Okay, screw that right onto your tank and check the pressure there, okay? Now, when you air that up and the slide check is in its rear position, it's not, the air is stopping here. It's not getting air to the gauge, so you see we're at zero. But, once we turn it on, we see that this is a high pressure regulator, and it's regulating at about, 100, yeah, 850 PSI, which is what it should be doing, okay? Now, what's cool about this, see that needle bouncing around? Tell me how quick that tank is recharging, okay? A couple of turns, let go of the residual pressure, and that's gonna come right off. So you can check recharge, although tank tanks are certainly important, you know, but if you have a high quality reg, it's either gone bad um, or, you know, it tends to work okay on, on a tank. Um, but what that's really important for is, you know, making sure that your, uh, your regulator is recharging at a good rate. So screw the reg on to your reg tester. Screw this piece, that's why you needed it earlier, onto your tank. Connect the two. And what that does then, that acts like your bottom line ASA, that acts like your, you know, uh, your on gun, and now just takes the gun away from the equation and allows you to test what's going on here. So as I see here, I'm at 300 PSI, and then I can check the recharge on that too. And it's snapping right back to where I want it. 
Now let me show you this other, <laughs> this other rig tester that a buddy of mine built. Man, it's like big ugly. It's just, I don't know. She's not gonna get any dances at the prom, that's for sure. But does she work? Yeah, she works. He used a liquid fill gauge. <laughs> Look at this beast. And liquid fill gauges are designed to stop needles, the needle from bouncing around. So they put mineral oil in there and stop that from bouncing around. But he had to use some different adapters, male to male three eighths, and then he had to use some crazy plumbing thing to go up to this quarter inch here, you know? But anyway, let's screw that on. <laughs> and it weighs like a long ton. It weighs more than my gun, dude. I don't know. But let's and let's see let's see if it works. I'm sure it will. So you notice too with this bigger gauge, and this this gauge is higher quality than these little dudes, I can get a lot more accurate. I'm at like 328 with this. Let's check the recharge. See how that's a little bit more accurate, uh, or, or able to you're able to see how quick that recharge is. So that's being regged from 850 to like 328, and notice it's returning to the same spot every time. I make fun of this this reg tester, but after he gave it to me, he got out of the sport. After he gave it to me, this has been my bench tester. You know, this just sits on my bench, and I'm not gonna lug it in my gearbox, but this just sits on my bench. And I'm able to really dial something in. And what I do with this, you know, when I get a new marker, is I set it up and see what it wants to shoot at. I mark that down in my head. You know, this likes to shoot at 325. This likes to shoot at 350. This likes to shoot at 310. Keep that in my head so that I know when I reset this on the bench, I don't have to worry about it back out in the field, you know. I bring mainly this tester along or, the, you know, the Guardian along to just see if anything's gone wrong, if it is my reg or which reg it is if it is a reg, you know. And that's pretty much all I do. But I did want to show you a video on how to assemble one of these bad guys. I love this. These are harder to find, by the way. You're going to need to go to some sort of air supply place to find these. So, so look around for them. They can be had on the internet, though. Look around. It's a liquid-filled gauge, 0 to 1,000. You know, and you can get a lower pressure one, 0 to 800 and stuff like that. But that 0 to 1,000 seems to work pretty well for me because it's so darn big, you know. But that's it. Um, thanks a lot for watching.